We are talking about the common mistakes that make us overeat today via Skype with registered dietitian Rebecca Scritchfield. So let's jump right in. I want to know what is the research between um, how we sleep and why we overeat? So this has been something that's been studied for over a decade. Mm -hmm. And what the large body of evidence shows is that as little as seven or eight hours of sleep, anything less than that, it actually could affect your ability to manage the weight that's right for you. Oh. So it doesn't take much to sleep less than seven or eight hours. Probably most people are doing that. So it is definitely something to pay attention to if you're concerned about your weight. Okay, then that makes sense. And what is the relationship between sleep and hormones um, and weight gain? So what we know in the research is that um, when you have, say, like five hours of sleep, mm -hmm. you actually have an increase in a hormone called ghrelin. And think of this as your grow hormone. It actually increases your appetite the next day. Mm. You also decrease your hormone called leptin, which is what suppresses your appetite. So the bottom line, if you don't get enough sleep, you're going to be really hungry the next day, and you tend to crave the foods that are high in salt, sugar, and fat. And it's all related to your hormones and your sleep levels. This makes complete sense why on certain days I'm hungrier than others. <laughs> All right, then, so what are, would people be surprised to learn about, you know, sleep and weight gain? You know, I think that it's so immediate. If you've, you know, had one bad night of sleep, yes. maybe you only got, you know, three or four hours, the next day you're tired, you're cranky, irritable, your mood is off, your cravings are off. So it doesn't take much to produce these hormonal changes that can over time impact your weight. So I think that's the very surprising. It doesn't take much to cause you to have an issue with sleep and weight. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for being here with us today. So if you have any specific questions, make sure you consult your medical practitioner. And as always, join the discussion using the hashtag OwnShow.